Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 27th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we'll be talking about the for loop in Perl. So if you guys uh, remember the scripts that we used in the last tutorial on until loop or uh, in the tutorial before on while loop, uh, we were doing three things. We were creating a scalar variable x and we were initializing it with the value 10 and then uh, you know since our objective was to print values from 10 till 20 uh, we use the while loop or the until loop and uh, then you know if, if, uh, inside the loop we had a test condition and uh, then we also had a print statement and an update statement inside the body of the loop now let's say you want to condense the initialization step the test part as well as the increment part in a single statement instead of doing it in three different statements uh, then the solution for you is the for loop and it is really simple to understand uh, it might look a little complicated uh, at the beginning but trust me it's not it's uh, really quite easy to follow so uh, I have got a script here that's called for and in this script uh, on line number three I have the keyword for and then within parentheses I have three things going on the first thing is the initialization part in which I have created a scalar variable x and I have given it the value 10 you know just uh, the way you would do it outside the for statement and then you have to put a semicolon to separate the initialization part and the test part so in the test part I am uh, testing if the value of x is less than or equal to 20 and uh, then you have to follow it up with the increment part and you know this doesn't always have to be the increment you know it could also be decrement and you know you don't have to always use a step size of 1 you could update the value of x by 5, 10, 50 or whatever and you know it could also be negative values as I said it doesn't have to be increment in fact I use a wrong word uh, you know you should call it the update part so this is the initialization part this is the test part and this is the update part and then inside the body of uh, for loop you just need to put the print statement because uh, we are we've already put the update thing here so we don't have to update the value of x here you know so this uh, uh, is is much um, crisper and uh, let me execute this uh, script and show you the output so there we go we see numbers from 10 till 20 and uh, of course if I would change the the test condition here if I would make it dollar $x is less than 20 then we are not going to see 20 in the output so that's uh, it about the for loop uh, I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'm going to see you in the next video till then take care